Last episode, I built up this gatehouse, which I'm extremely proud of. Uh, I think it looks very beautiful. Um, but I can't help but think that it's just the gatehouse portion isn't finished until I extend this wall at least just a little bit. Um, so that you can see the wall coming off of both sides of the gatehouse. So before I do absolutely anything, I'm going to extend this wall. I've marked it out here just a little bit, um, which shouldn't be too bad. You know, it's just a little bit here. I probably won't do this tower portion yet until I start clearing out this mountain because it's just going into there a little bit. Um, so yeah, but before I can build the wall, I need andesite. I've only got like 50 something pieces of andesite um, and that's probably not going to cut it. Actually, truth is that probably would cut it because I barely use andesite on my walls. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go and try and find a bunch of andesite just to kick this off uh, so that I have at least a bunch more of it for when I need it. Ah, here we go. This is promising and I see andesite right down there. So, very nice, very nice. All right, I'm gonna mine this up real quick. Plenty of andesite acquired, and now I am going to Put some of it back in my base because I'm not going to need all of it. Also, I wanted to show off to you guys uh, my mega storage skills. As you can see, I unloaded all of my shulker boxes that I had last episode um, when I came out here. Because I didn't have a house, they were all just kind of laying across my lawn. And that wasn't okay. So I took them all and they're all unloaded in here very nicely um, along with some extra stuff from my other base. Um, and so yeah, I've got uh, lots of storage in here, which is pretty cool. Um, and I love to stay organized. So like this obviously is for andesite, we can put that in there. We got stone, uh, we got copper over here, uh, iron, so everything's got a spot, which I absolutely love. Uh, yeah, being organized is very important. Uh, I don't think enough people are very organized on their uh, Minecraft worlds. So I'm realizing right now that I actually don't have any tough at all. And that is kind of an issue. That makes up a huge portion of my walls. So that's kind of an issue. So I guess we'll go and get a bunch of tough too and then may get a spot to go. Because uh, yeah, I don't have any tough at all. So I'm gonna go do that as well. I would call that a success. I got a ton of tough here, as well as some diamonds and some gold and such. Uh, and I got a bunch more tough here in uh, this shulker box. So that should last me for quite a while. And now I've got the uh, fun task of trying to find a way out of this here cave. And uh just oh gosh yeah this is huge I'm kind of lost to be honest Ooh, there's a geode I love geodes they're so pretty um yeah yeah I'm kind of lost so oh gosh I'm suffocating I think I might just uh mine straight up honestly um because Oh wow, how lucky is that? Maybe, maybe not, but maybe. Oh wow, this was really lucky. Look, I think this goes right to the surface. But we even got sand here, which actually, I want one single piece of sand. Look at that, I got a souvenir. Okay. 
and now we gotta get the heck out of here back to base um why did i get this uh, compass that points me to my house that was a success now i gotta make sure i stay organized let's go ahead and put our tough here and then throw it all in there yes yes sir uh anyway i'm gonna go ahead and uh just kind of sort through all this stuff that i got um organize it and put it away and then we're gonna move straight on to building up that wall I got this portion of the wall done, um, and I think it's looking really good. Get out of here. There's another one. Uh, anyway, I got this portion of the wall done, um, and I think I'm going to go ahead. You can see I've already started to clear um, all of this mountain away. I'm not going to get rid of this entire mountain yet, um, but I am going to get rid of a good portion of it. As you'll see over here, I've kind of split it right down the middle right through here um, so I'm gonna get rid of all of this whole section um, right now just so that the wall and this tower aren't gonna be right up against the uh, the mountainside although my pick is looking a little not great right now so I'm gonna go back to Melchizedek uh, to repair it My pick is looking better, so I'm gonna head back uh, to base now and clear out that mountain. Feels like I've been here before. Ah oh, yes, I can see the tunnel at the end of the light. Okay, this is the last time um, I'm going to have to do this. Thank goodness. So that was a pain, but uh, it was easy enough. So as you can see now, that uh, is looking so much better than it was looking. Um, dude, your llama is stuck up top. And you're not selling jack crap. Okay, get off my wall, trash. Oh, you want some too now, huh? Get rolled. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. You know what? Because I don't have arrows, I'm going to spare you. As you can see here, um, I've kind of layered it out a little bit where I want the grass to go. So it's kind of going up into a hill right here. Um, and that's kind of an ugly sharp corner. Uh, I'll fix that later. Um, but yeah, I need to go through and change all of this to grass. Um, but you can see how much better now this looks just being clear from the mountain. Um, that's a huge eyesore, but that's a problem for another day. So, all of that to just get a nicer, clearer view of our new city. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting up this wall, or I mean this tower here, as well as um, filling all this in with grass and kind of smoothing out the edges here a little better. But first... A tower must be built. Uh, 
Okay, so I got a level with you guys. If you saw that last video clip, then you'll know that uh, some things happened uh, between the last time I recorded and then that time. And unfortunately, it lasted a good long time uh, that I was recording and I wasn't looking at the quality of my recordings because I adjusted some settings um, to try and help with the graininess effect that my videos have been having. Uh, just some like GPU type setting things um, in my recording uh, app. And uh, yeah, I completely, uh, completely screwed up so much. Literally like probably eight or ten hours worth of work. Um, which, yeah, really sucks. So I've got a huge progress update to show you guys because um, I'm not even going to record. Um, include any of those other recordings because they're they're so bad they're so framey um, and just impossible to watch so I yeah I totally screwed up uh, I think I've got it fixed now uh, at least back to what it was so I'm gonna head back to base right now and uh, sh show you guys all what you missed out on so we're here uh, back at Enoch um, and you'll already maybe notice uh, quite a bit of difference for one in the land I've done quite a bit of work here on the land just kind of shaping it out this isn't the final shape of the land um, but I just wanted to have it all out because it, it helps me to view the whole thing a little nicer uh, but on my main base here the gatehouse um, I've added a few things here in fact I'm just gonna go ahead and switch over real quick to spectator because uh, there's so much work here to show you guys that this is just going to be easier. Um, so yeah, for one, you'll notice I just added a little side tower coming off of our main tower. So I thought it looked a little bland the more I looked at it. And I think <laughs> it looks maybe a little strange. It maybe even looks like it shouldn't be there. Um, but it's growing on me, to be honest. I actually kind of like it. It looks a little weird, and I think that's kind of what I like about it. it adds a little bit of that fantasy aspect that I'm trying to go for um, but trying to keep the main the whole main thing more of a medieval um, it's just that little touch of fantasy that I like um, so we'll see that could end up getting changed in the future but at the moment I quite like it and if we go around the build this way here I also added a little tower here on this side of the gatehouse um, this tower right here um, so yeah, not huge changes, um, but just little things. And this tower here is actually acting now as my potion brewing tower. So it's a little cramped in here. The space isn't great, but I've got plenty of barrels here for my potions, ingredients, and whatnot. Um, there's water inside of here, so I've got an infinite water supply for my bottles um, and things like that. Pretty soon here, I'm going to be wanting to do a villager trading hall. I just wanted to get this room done and out of the way so that when I do do my villager trading hall, I've got all the potion making things here for, you know, weakness potions and the kind of things that villager traders need to get those good deals, of course. But notice I did finish this tower um, and put some of the grass in here on this land as well as dug the moat a little bit further along. And I stopped here for now because um, I just haven't built this far out. I've really been working on this other side of it. So you'll see the wall here is quite a bit longer than it was before. I've added a couple more towers here as well as more wall. And here's the big thing. This is what I wanted to do for this episode. And this is the progress I wanted to make on the uh, city uh, for the end of this episode. But obviously, since I lost so much recording footage because of you know, bad settings, which was completely my fault. I definitely should have been checking those after I made the settings before I just did a ton of work uh, and never went back to the recordings. So here we just jump pretty far along from where I was to where I am now. And I guess that gives us more time in this video to continue doing uh, what I've been doing. But as you'll see here, I've got a load of work done here. Um, just making these cliffs and doing all this landscaping 
and building up the wall. Uh, just a ton of work. And I think it's looking really good, if I do say so myself. Um, a lot of this, of course, still needs um, a lot of refining and touch-ups. Uh, obviously, up on top of here, we've got minimal bone meal, uh, and our land is kind of bland. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the shape of it, which is mostly what I wanted to get out of the way, is figuring out the shape of it. With the uh, building portion, anyway. If we head over this way, you'll see I've done quite a bit of planning out for where I want the wall to go and what I want to happen next. So over here, we've got a nice sharp corner here at the edge of the sea, right? This is a river that'll connect to the sea. And then we've got the ocean here. Um, and we've got a nice sharp corner here. We'll build cliff faces all the way down to the land. And then of course, reshape all this land up. And uh, what this thing right here is, is this is gonna be kind of a fort slash barracks. Just a good defensive position, I think, right here on the corner, the city. Um, I think, yeah, it just makes sense uh, defensively since ships will be passing through here with the river, uh, maybe oncoming attacks or whatnot on the city. I think this would just be a good defensive spot for a nice barracks, uh, kind of like a small castle, as you can see, a, a very small castle, more of a fort. Um, just here on the corner. So that's the plan with that. And then we've got the wall running along to here. And right about here is where I want to just... I stopped the wall here because I think this is about where the castle is going to come into play. So roundabouts right here, the castle is going to start and it's going to of course be as well on the edge of a cliff face and facing the ocean. Uh, so we can have some docks all the way along here, the bottom of the uh, the wall and the castle. These can be docks, we can have ships out here, um, houses on the docks and all that kind of good stuff. So we got a good trading aspect going. And then maybe over here below where the castle's gonna be, we'll have a bit of a naval kind of military um, force. So naval ships maybe, and docks, and more things related to uh, the castle side of things. And the castle's kind of going to be in a big L shape. So it's going to start right about there where that wall ends, and it's going to come up this way, and then make an L shape that way. And it won't just be an ugly L shaped castle, but I think the general um, shape of the castle is kind of going to be like an L shape going this way and then the castle will probably stop right about here. So it'll be a fairly sizable castle coming through here. And then the wall will connect to the castle and run through here and connect up to that wall. And that's why I haven't planned any of that out yet, um, just because all of this land is in the way and I really just need to clear it, um, which is kind of a pain, but it's gonna have to happen sooner or later. Uh, I just haven't gotten that far yet. I've been mostly working on that side and kind of figuring out the shape and what I want on this side. So yeah, that kind of gets us caught up. I said before I was going to be building a villager trading hall here soon, and I do plan on it because I'm getting sick of having to go all the way back to Melchizedek, uh, which takes a good six or seven rockets um, to get back there. And it's kind of a, you know, then I got to spend that much rockets getting back here. It's a little annoying and it's kind of far and it'd just be nice to have a villager trading hall here. Or should I say a villager trading wall? Yes, you heard me right. I think I am going to turn this wall into somewhat of a villager trading wall. So as you'll see on the inside of here, it's going to be a little dark. I apologize because I know YouTube is even darker um, than it is on my screen. But as you can see here, we have plenty of space in this wall to make nice, small, little villager trading stalls. And then we've got the checkpoints here at each of the towers, which will be an access to get into it. So I'm thinking with me, this isn't for sure, but let's just say from this tower here to that tower there, everything in the middle here of this wall, let's just say these are all of my librarians. So all of my librarians are going to be in this section of the villager trading wall. 
let's say this section is masons. So I can have all of my masons in this section from this tower to this tower over here. These could all be masons and so on and so forth. I'm obviously gonna have a lot more wall that I'm gonna need for my villager traders, which is fine. Um, but I think I'm gonna start there and just kind of fill in all of these walls with my villager traders. And I think that'll work quite well because then when I need to go and get um, a book or lanterns or something from the library villagers, I can just fly right in here to this door and there'll be a nice little staircase that goes down to the villager trading section and then just quick access into my library if that's where I want to go. If I want, you know, bricks or terracotta or whatever, I can go in to that tower or this tower and be able to access that and it'll just stretch the whole way until I've got all of my village traders that I'm gonna need. Uh, so I thought that was kind of a clever idea. Instead of a villager trader hall, we'll have a villager trader wall. Um, Cause what other use am I gonna honestly use in these walls? There's plenty of space in here cause they're nice and thick. So I think villager traders will be perfect. Now that I got all that out of the way and you guys are kind of caught up to where I am now, uh, as you can see, I'm still working rigorously on building up these sea cliffs and I think they're looking pretty nice. I'm quite pleased with the look of them, especially with the wall on top of the sea cliffs. I think it looks pretty epic. So as you'll see in these boxes, I've got kind of a lot of various uh, things in here, um, but I'm very low on tough. This is all the tough I have to my name. Clearly, I've been using a lot of tough here, so I need a ton more, at least even just to finish this side of the sea cliffs. Um, and that's not even all the tough that I'm going to be using on the wall above the sea cliffs. So I think I'm going to start this out by going and grabbing a ton more tough. Okay, I think that's gonna be plenty of tough for now. Should last me a little while. Uh, let's get the heck out of here. Hey, I did not just kill that wandering trader and his llamas. Okay, let's get to building this sea cliff. So, small update. Uh, as you can see, I've done a little bit of building here, just trying to figure out the shape. Um, a little bit. I'm not entirely happy with this. It definitely needs some more uh, stairs and slabs and whatnot, and maybe even some more layers. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys. Um, so here on this whole side of the sea cliff, we've kind of got this overhang effect that the cliff has got, um, which allows us to have a bit of a grass patch, uh, you know, some land up top on top of the sea cliffs. And I think that's good for over here, but I think if I just stretch this, you know, all the way along to the end, it's gonna look kind of repetitive. I think at some point I need to switch the cliffs up, and I've decided to do that right here, kind of with this tower. So as you'll see, going on from this point, we don't get this overhanging effect that we have over here. Um, it's more layered, where it's actually bigger on the bottom, where it gets smaller up top. Um, and this is the opposite. It's kind of um, smaller at the bottom and then it gets bigger and more overhangy as I go up. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm working on. I'm just kind of building the wall a little bit along with it as I go because um, that's going to kind of help me know where I want my cliffs um, to stop and the wall to start. And then up here, as you'll see, I'm going to continue having this kind of um, the tough bleed into the cliff a little bit because I think that looks really nice and it helps ease that transition from cliff to wall. It's almost like the wall was kind of carved out of the cliff a little bit, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure that this was the smartest idea, putting this tuff also at the bottom of the cliff face, although I think it looks really good having that dark kind of aspect down there and then I've also of course got you know moss and stuff growing up it. This tuff looks great with some of the moss in the green. 
I'm gonna continue that as well. I think with this kind of whole section of the build going that way, at least as long as I continue doing cliff faces like this, um, I'm going to also include bringing this tuff in with the cliff a little bit and having it bleed up there. Uh, Cause I think that looks really good. And I think that's really gonna help these transitions from cliff to wall just feel a little smoother and nicer. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna go ahead, continue building up a little bit more uh, and I'll bring you back maybe once I've got up to this tower done. Okay, so we're back and as you can see, I've finished just doing a basic um, kind of design here all the way up to that tower there. And I think it's looking pretty bad. <laughs> no, I think the basic design is looking decent. I don't love it yet, but I typically don't really like the cliff faces until you start bringing in um, the texturing and some more layers here down at the beach where it's going to transition from rock into um, sand. So obviously I haven't gotten that far yet. That's what I'm going to do next. But I just wanted to show you guys um, kind of what I'm doing throughout here. It's pretty basic. Um, just bringing the rocks up to the wall and then bringing the wall down to fill in uh, the gaps So that it all connects nicely and I think it's looking pretty good um, For what it is so right now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do the whole beach making it sand Right, and then we're gonna bring in the tough and maybe some more mossy cobble and moss and whatnot and then we'll transition these a little nicer here in fact I'll probably do the walls as well um, so they're not just straight like that because that doesn't look great uh, and we'll bring you know the tough down into the rocks and I think it's gonna look really nice so let's get that done right about now okay what a cut get out of your trash so as you can see I have um, added some andesite here in the walls as well as the tuff along the bottom as well as the tuff along the top And I added a little bit of grass and dirt up there just to give it a little more color and kind of bring it in To what we've got going on here on this side. So it's not just completely alienated in like a totally different thing And I'm pretty happy with this. I'm not entirely happy I think I might still go through and shape it up a little better um, but for the most part, I like where this is going. As you can see, I've got most of the beach in here, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, still could use some more work here in the water. I need to add some more slabs just to gradually kind of bring this up into the land so it looks a little more realistic. Um, maybe not realistic isn't the word, but smooth. I want it to look a little more smooth than just having this drop off. Uh, I did that over there, you can kind of maybe see it, um, where I've got some slabs in the water, just to smooth, um, yeah, the transition out a little bit. I don't care too much about, whoops, what's in the water, because um, for the most part you're not even going to see or notice, but I would like to still make some of this um, sand in here, so that the dirt's not coming right up. Anyway. That's not that important. That's all kind of future touch-up work that I'll do when I'm bored. Um, but I do want to bring these sandstone um, slabs, the smooth sandstone slabs, in a little bit more here. Uh, but yeah, other than that, these just look like nice sheer cliffs. And that's exactly what I was going for. So I think I'm probably running out of time here for this video. I think I'll make one more cut. And I'll go ahead and build in this tower here, um, which, you know, easier said than done. But I'm going to build this tower in here and build the um, cliffs around it. And then I think next episode we'll just continue on getting the rest of these cliff faces in. Like I said, I want to do kind of a lot of this tedious outside work before I even start working on the city. Because a lot of this is going to determine the land level that's going to be in the city. So I want to get all this done and figured out um, and all these walls put in at least all the way up until I've got um, where the castle is going to start. And then once all this is put in, I can kind of figure out a little bit better here how I'm going to do this port area. It's going to be quite small um, considering 
how large the city is. But I think it's going to be big enough. We can get some a few docks, ships, maybe even some ships out here in the ocean. Uh, that's going to come way at a later date. Um, but yeah, I, I would like to figure this poor area out because in my mind, I've got ideas. And I've kind of got a picture in my mind of what I want it to look like, I think. Um, but I'm constantly changing my mind on things. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, but yeah, maybe I can get some planning done there So let's go ahead and build this tower here. All right We're back with the finished product here, and I think it's looking really good at least for now uh, Obviously, I will be wrapping the rest of this later on and I think it's looking really nice So um, yeah, I'm gonna finish that next portion uh, probably next episode um, and maybe finish doing the sea cliffs on the other side. We'll see. For now, I think that this is a really nice finished product. And what is this guy? Always barging into my conversations. I really want the brain coral. I'll buy that whenever I can. Uh, I love using brain coral and I hate mining brain coral, so I'll be back for that. But anyway, so yeah, I just brought the sea cliff here up to uh, the tower, basically. And built that tower up and it's kind of annoying with some of the render distance things you can see the trap doors on that tower um, but until I get closer I can't see them on that tower and so I built uh, this little flag here which does have chains holding it up you just can't see them with the render distance uh, but they are there it's not floating um, and I think it looks kind of weird when you look at it close up like this kind of just looks like a blob but I don't know maybe it kind of looks like a banner or a flag um, but from a distance I think it looks really nice and I think it really does look like a, uh, a flag up there with our colors on it, of course, for the city. I think this is looking pretty sweet. And yeah, this is where I'm going to end this episode. So uh, yeah, make sure to do all the um, YouTube courtesies, uh, liking and commenting, uh, and consider subscribing. Because I'm just going to keep building this up, and it's just going to keep getting cooler and cooler, I think. So I'm super excited uh, to keep moving on with this. Um, but we got to do some of this tedious stuff first, which I think will play a big role um, in developing the city's kind of character as I go into the actual city portion. I'm going to end it there, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.